sisters and welcome back to my channel today i have some very exciting news for you guys and yes we do so a lot of you have been tweeting me instagramming me and asking me if the lashes with elf will be restocked and i haven't told you guys any updates because this is just a huge work in progress and i didn't even have the answer myself but elf just got back to me recently and they said we are restocking the lashes yes girl First of all, I want to thank you guys so much for supporting these lashes. When I first got the opportunity to do this, I knew you guys would really like lashes because I'm always wearing lashes. Like ever since I started my YouTube channel when I was like 15 years old, girl, I've been wearing lashes and I feel like this is just kind of a whaley thing and it's kind of a thing between you and I as well. So I'm really happy to say that the lashes are restocking and that is all thanks to you guys. Without you guys, this would not be possible and I'm just super happy that we get to restock. So today I came up with this look right here. It's just like a very wearable spring look. I've been loving the pinks and also the lashes just go perfectly. It's like the perfect amount of volume and fluff and length. I just personally really love them. It will be going live at 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. So make sure you guys set your alarms and I will also remind you guys on Instagram. Before I get into the tutorial, there's also a giveaway. Mm -hmm. There's going to be five winners and this is a Instagram giveaway. So make sure you follow me and Elf Cosmetics on Instagram. There will be a total of five winners and all you have to do is submit a selfie and tag me and also use the hashtag Elf Hearts All right, so I think that is all the information I have to throw at you and let's just jump into the tutorial. All right, everybody, you know the drill. We're gonna start with primer. I'm using all e.l.f. in this video and I will leave the product links down below. So be sure to check those out if you're wondering what I'm using. So I'm just spreading this all over my face. This is a illuminating primer. So it's going to help brighten up my skin and give it that glow. Next up is foundation. So I'm taking about two pumps of this. I'm spreading it all over my face. And e.l.f. recently just gave me this brush. It's like a massager brush. My first time using it and I am really amazed. It's really good. It blends in my foundation really quickly because of the huge size. Also, because I'm going for a spring look, this foundation is great because it gives a glowy, satiny finish. So it's not flat at all. Next up, let's work on them brows. This is seriously one of my favorite eyebrow pencils because first of all, it's really inexpensive. Second of all, lasts all day and the color is perfect. As you can see, it's very easy to use and I just apply this product all over my brows then I finish off by brushing it out with the spoolie. So today, we are going for a subtle cut crease look. I'm using the Mad for Matte palette and I'm taking that light pinky shade with a very precise small brush. This is also an e.l.f. brush if you guys are wondering. So I'm just really carving out that crease so that my eyes will look larger and more defined. Okay, now moving on to the crease. I'm taking a shadow stick this time and I'm just running this all over my lid right below where I did my cut crease. So this is really going to make that cut crease pop. And then after that, just take a brush and blend that out. Next up, I am going back to the Mad for Matte palette and I'm taking that skin tone shade to blend out my cut crease. I'm not going too crazy with it. I'm just giving it a nice little blend. That way the cut crease does not look too harsh. So I decided I wanted the cut crease to look just a little darker so that you can see it from a distance, you know what I mean? So I'm taking the darker pink with the same small brush. I'm going into my crease once again just to darken it up. And now, the star of this video, my lashes with e.l.f. Cosmetics. I am so obsessed with this style. It looks amazing on the eyes. So I'm just going to apply a little bit of glue on these lashes and pop them on. Next up, I'm going to tight line with one of my favorite e.l.f. eyeliners. It is a dual-ended product. So there's the shadow on one end and the other end is the eyeliner. So I'm going in to fill in that gap so that my fake lashes and my real ones blend in together. This might not apply to everyone, but for me, my look is not complete until the wing eyeliner is there. I've used this e.l.f. liquid liner many times before in previous videos. I'm just drawing a nice thin wing. 
All right, so real quickly, I'm going back to my Mad for Matte palette and taking that first pinky shade we used, I'm going to pop this on my bottom lash line. And we are almost done. Now I'm going in with that shadow stick, the one that I used all over my lid. I'm popping that into my inner corner to highlight it. And of course, finish off with a little bit of mascara. Now that the eyes are done, let's go back to the face. I'm taking this e.l.f. bronzer palette with their contouring brush. I'm just going to give my cheekbones a little bit of contour. I used to not care for contour much, but now that I do it almost every single day, I absolutely love this part of my makeup routine. It just really helps sculpt my face and I love it. And of course, cannot forget about the blush. I'm taking this blush palette and I'm gonna use that light peachy shade. I'm taking it on a brush and I'm lightly dusting it over my cheekbones. Another part of my makeup routine that I'm absolutely obsessed with, girl, it's highlighting. Do we all agree that highlighting is very therapeutic? Do we? I'm popping this highlight on my cheekbones and bam. Do you see that glow? Do you? Now I'm going to wrap up this entire look with my favorite e.l.f. lipstick. I've used this lipstick in so many videos. You guys have seen it so many times. And you know, honestly, I thought I should use a different lip color in this video just to try something new, but you will see why this is my absolute favorite lip color. It is the perfect pinky shade and it's also super hydrating. I wanted a little more of a sheen to my lips, so I'm taking e.l.f.'s lip oil. By the way, I am obsessed with these lip oils. They are super glossy, but not sticky at all. So I'm putting this over my lipstick, and that is the completed look. As always, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget about the Instagram giveaway, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!